Hello again, and welcome back to Minecraft. As always, I am Jeff Lars, and we're back. It's been a little while since I've last recorded. Uh, had a few problems, along with being pretty busy. Uh, the main problem was the was the portal system. I know last time I said what I was going to do is so I was going to head over to Vault 158 and build a portal there, and then that'll transport me to somewhere in the Nether, and I'll make a link between the two the two portals. The problem is. I made a portal back at the vault, and rather than making a new portal in the nether, it just brought me back to the portal from the home base, so the portal that's down there. And when I went back in the portal, it brought me out here, so there was no way to get back to Vault 158 from the portals. So it's a fast travel back here from ever at the vault, but it doesn't really work so well in the other way. So I've got a little bit of a new plan, change of, change of plans here, and we'll go ahead and explore that. I did clear out one Vault 158, brought all the stuff over here. Figured, you know, it would be, um, wouldn't really be worth, uh, I don't know, keeping all of it over there since I'm probably not going to be going back there for a little while. So I gathered all the materials, and here we are back at home base. And here's our portal, and a lot of stuff is in here. I think I'm going to take the, the armor just for the sake of it. Could come in handy. And you know what? Let's bring this diamond sword with us as well. I didn't really want to bring too much cool stuff on this journey, but, you know, why not? I'll bring... Nah, I don't need anything else. So let's just suit up here. And let's head on in the nether. Okay, so we're back in our nether base here. Uh, I did install some new windows here to make it look a little pretty, made the ceiling a little higher, just because I've got a little gas friend out there. He can't see us right now, because I don't know why he can't see us through the glass. But, so, up here there's some a new tunnel, and this doorway here. Uh, this doorway just is a sort of quick way outside into the actual nether, in case I want to go, like, glowstone hunting or something. Uh, I do have plenty of glowstone, actually, let's see if I can show that off. 54, it's pretty good. Uh, but anyways, the cool stuff here was down this way. So this tunnel leads to this tunnel, which leads way down here. Way down here. <laughs> and over here, a nice lava fall over there, and down this huge tunnel. Basically what I did is I built a really, really large cobblestone tunnel leading to nowhere, essentially, in the nether. Um, I did it off-screen because, for the most part, it's pretty tedious and boring. I figured you guys know how to make a cobblestone tunnel. It's not that difficult. And, um, you, a sped-up video of just me building this thing would have been pretty long. It took me a couple hours to build this in full. Um, like two hours wasn't that bad. And basically the plan is I'm going to make a portal, or I've already made a portal down there, which leads us to completely new lands, and we're going to just build a new base there and see what happens. Um... This place doesn't look that great right now. I'm going to pretty it up later on with some more glass and other things like that. But, yeah, aside from that, it's pretty pretty simple. This part over here is actually over a large lava lake way up in the air. Uh, looks pretty cool from the outside, actually. I forgot to show that, but I'll show it at some point. As you can see, there's a little island down there. It's, not, it's a pretty cool area. And down here, didn't really feel like finishing off the tunnel proper, built a portal. So, this material I have here, which actually is a lot of material, let's uh, go ahead and build a new base. Okay, here we are. New lands. There's a creeper over there, that's encouraging. A little gravel beach. Lots of trees. Very, very, very nice green forest over here. I'm hope, I was hoping to show off some of the new tree types, because those came out with a 1.2 update. Um, but it doesn't look like I'm seeing any birch or evergreen right now. But we're pretty, we're probably pretty far away from the um, home base. Oh, there's a skeleton on fire. And let's see. Oh, there's a birch tree. Take this bone. Oh, oh. Should have brought a bone arrow. That would have been wise. Oh well. With this diamond sword, we can do some real damage. Oop. Come on, buddy. Oop. That's water. 
My bad. Come on, friend. Get out of the tree. Ouch. There's a spider. See, these are the new birch trees. They're not really too different from regular trees, aside from how they look. Okay, so this is... This is a pretty nice looking area. It's very, very foresty. There's a large gravel beach over here. That's pretty cool. Big fan of the gravel beaches. Definitely a nice, nice addition to the world. Um, but let's not, let's not stray too far from the portal. Uh, yeah, we should probably build ourselves kind of a, uh, little safe haven here. Man, that's a lot of mushrooms. You're not angry, right, buddy? Nah, you wouldn't be angry. That is a lot of mushrooms. If we get some red ones, we could actually make a large amount of mushroom stew. That'd be pretty nice. But beggars can't be choosers. I'll take what I can get. So let's see, I think the portal is back over... Yeah, there's that small gravel beach right there. Okay. So. Hmm. Let's see, I'm not quite sure how to approach right now. Let's let's just head up here, see if there's anything interesting we can see from the top of this hill. I doubt there'll be too much. No, it's just a very, very nice foresty area. A lot of dead mobs though. It's a lot of a lot of loot. Look at all that. Yeah, this place is actually kinda dangerous due to all the Man. Do I need to hit you with my diamond sword? Yeah, I do. It's pretty dangerous due to all the um, the foliage. Because mobs don't seem to burn up around here too easily. Anyways, let's just take the take the easy route for the moment. I'm gonna need to build a workbench. Let's do that and make a make a few sticks real quick. Cause I would like a shovel. Forgot to bring a shovel along. <laughs> uh, I'll just put you right here for now. And make two real quick shovels. I believe the durability on shovels has been upped quite a bit since the last update, so that's pretty helpful. And also, let's just uh, light this place up so next time I come out it's not quite as dangerous. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's just go ahead and dig in here. Seems like a pretty reasonable spot to start. And yeah, that looks good. That looks great, actually. You know what, just because, just for the sake of some aesthetics here, I'll just go ahead and go ahead and do that. That way it looks kind of like a hidden entryway, I suppose. I don't know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the whole hidden, hidden entryway aesthetic, I suppose. So, um... Let's just put some torches out here for the night time. Dig it away in a little bit more. There we go, there's some coal just in case we need it later. Not too not too concerned about coal right now since we've got plenty of torches. But let's move our crafting bench inside. Eventually, I'll probably um, build build a, a little hut around the uh, the portal itself. But for now, I'm figuring going makeshift all the way. There we go. We got ourselves a door. We'll put that right there. Looks good to me. And chopping down a tree sounds like a good plan right now. I need some more planks so I can make a chest store all these loots that we got. Punching trees. Back to day one. Alright, fantastic. And, uh, as always, for good measure, it's gonna plant this sapling. Why didn't I pick up? There we go. All right. So let's just process this and make a new chest. Cause I'm figuring. Oh, did I not even? Yeah, I didn't even make that. Darn it. 
let's see, I think for good measure right now, I'm just gonna derobe, if you will. Uh, since we're not really too well established here yet, I figure it'd probably be safest to leave the leave the precious armor here. I'll keep the diamond sword though. If I lose that, we've got plenty of diamond over at the main base now. Uh, okay, keep the shovel. Actually, we should probably keep the pick. We have our shrooms, our feather, and arrows. Let's leave half the torches, and leave the flint and steel here too, just in case. <laughs> Oh man, it's nighttime already. Darn it. Well, um, let's see. I think I will just uh, cut us off and check check things back out in the morning, because I don't really want to go exploring right now. So yeah, I'll catch you guys back at back at daybreak. See you in just a moment. All right, we're about at daybreak now. Uh, sun's coming up. Overnight, I went back to home base and uh, grabbed a bow and some arrows. Uh, I, f I figured, you know, we're gonna need to deal with things like morning creepers and such. So, why not have a bow and arrow? It's to be safe. Cause, you know, not seeing anybody right now though. But that's pretty. So that's pretty good. So let's uh let's check out the area a little bit. Hopefully we'll find some uh some cool terrain. Ooh. Maybe some ouch. That was wise. Maybe some inspiration for a new um I don't know, new cool building uh, building place. I don't know. If you guys if you guys have any ideas on what to build, as always you are. Oh, that's a deep cave. Anyways, we'll deal with that later. Um as always, you are welcome to suggest ideas, and of course, names, always open to all that sort of stuff. But anyways, what I'm figuring we'll do here with this new area is, after we sort of establish a nice looking base, we'll, uh, we'll basically get our, make a compass and head, see if we can find our way back to the spawn point, and see, what, see what's out there in the world on the way back. Hopefully we'll find some cool stuff. Maybe we won't, but maybe we will. I don't know. I think I figure that'll be a be a fun sort of adventure, which is really what I'm into here in Minecraft—just going on adventures. And anyways, it looks like we got a bit of a chunk error here. Look at that sheer sheer face. Let's see. Not too much in the way of crazy. Ooh, careful, crazy interesting terrain around here. Mostly just uh, sort of generic green forest, I suppose. Get out of there. Let's see. Mushroom. Another mushroom over there. Don't really quite need that, though. We have more than our fair share of mushrooms, if I do say so myself. Anyways, well, that's a pretty killer view up here. I think down there is where we... Uh, I think that's where our portal is. Actually, I have no clue where the portal is in reference to this right now. Which could actually be okay. If I'm completely lost, maybe we'll just have to, uh... I don't know. I don't know what we'll do if I'm completely lost, actually. <laughs> uh... Alright. Carefully descend. Let's go chop down a birch tree. I suppose... Show off what... Ouch that looks like. And birch makes very nice decoration, in my opinion. Very nice decoration. So let's uh, punch this tree down. And as you can see, the wood looks a little bit different. As I said before, it doesn't really actually have any real difference aside from aesthetic values, but, you know, at least for me in Minecraft, uh, aesthetics go a long way, so I'm not complaining. It makes very nice wallpaper. Oh, let's see, anybody. There we go. Always replant your trees. The leaves look a little bit different too. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. You can you can actually plant trees in the Nether. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but um, if you put some dirt, regular dirt, in the Nether, you can grow a tree on there, and it looks kind of dead. Um, 
works just like regular wood, but it looks like dead wood. And here it's pretty cool. Never actually tried it myself, but maybe we'll give it a go off screen or not off screen next time. For now, I just like to find my uh, <laughs> find my portal. I think it's over this way. Hope it's over this way at least. I'll take that. Okay, here's our gravel beach. At least one of them. Maybe there are many gravel beaches out there. No, I think that's the main gravel beach that I, that we ran into earlier. Oh no, there are pumpkins. Pumpkins are probably a sure surefire sign that you are lost. Which I am right now. Absolutely lost. Oh well, we can just wander around here. Don't have too much of value on me. Maybe we'll run into a squid. That would be nice. I ran into a bunch of squids off screen when I wasn't recording and just trying to uh, move things back and forth. Probably should have just taken a video, but um, I mean they're not all that exciting. They're just kind of they're squids. Nothing too crazy there. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say we are plum plum lost. Well, that's okay. I'm I got nowhere to be. Got nothing valuable except for this diamond sword. Yeah, we got something like 11 diamonds back at home base, so I'm not too concerned about losing them. Um, let's see. This is one giant forest, though. Gotta say. Oh, there's a there's a tree. Meaning we were here. We did cut down a tree, I think. Yeah, these were. This must be the birch trees we originally chopped down. Um, so I just went in a giant circle. <laughs> what would a Minecraft video be without me getting lost? I don't know. Or at least a Minecraft video made by me. I'm not trying to say I'm the only one who makes Minecraft videos, because I'm certainly not. Heck, I'm not even very good at making them. As you can see, I'm getting lost. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. Boy, oh boy. So how's everybody doing out there? I figure now is a good time to make some make some small talk. As I walk in circles around this mountain. I have been quite busy. Started up a new semester. Got a lot of work to do. Etc, etc. The usual. Those of you who have been around this channel for a uh, little while know how I just get really busy when I'm back at school. And this is certainly no exception. Let's see, I think, oh, I think that's the chunk area we ran into earlier. Maybe we're on the right track. Um, oh, lag. Hmm. I say maybe, but really have no clue. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Two different leaf types there. Looks like this is the exact same birch tree we cut down earlier. Fantastic. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> it was right next to it the whole time. So, I think, I think we're just probably going to end it, end things off here. Off screen might spruce up the uh, the hole in the wall a little bit, but if you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them. I'll take any any suggestion. I'm pretty open, dude. So, aside from that, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.